Hi, from 4 chapter 7, chemistry, video number 7 or 8, and page number 8. Hmm? I start. So, after we finish all the calculation about the average rate reaction and the instantaneous rate reactions, and now, what are the factor affecting the rate reaction? What's the fun? The sutu kwai man sama ying su jie ding na. There are five factors affecting the rail reaction. Chao Song Xian. Number one, side of reactant. Fan Ying Ti the TG. When we talk about the side of the reactant, the reactant must be solid. Ye Ti Nanyo TG. Ye Ti Nyo Nanyo Ta He Xiao the. Tell me, Gu Ti the Fan Zhuang Tai the Hua Xie Fan Ying Ti. Number two, concentration of the reactants. So, Nong Tu. Fan Ying Ti the Nong Tu. Or this one we talk about the solution. 也就是那个液体来的 Number 3, temperature of the reactions 当时化学反应的温度 And the temperature normally means the solution The temperature of the solution Catalyst, 有没有加的催化剂 Catalyst And the last, the pressure 当时的压力 Or when we talk about pressures It will just involve the reactant with the gas only 当我讲到压力它的化学反应里面一定是气体罢了 And 1, 2, 3, 4 will be discussed in detail 1, 2, 3, 4 会讲得很仔细 And this one you just go through 这个就是路过经过罢了没有特意去讲多多 Understand? So now we start our first factor The side of the reactant 反应体的体积 so the first factor that affects the, the real reaction is actually the side of reactant. Copy, side of reactant. And in your notes, you'll be here. 你的note在这边呢。这个字在这边呢。The the side of reactant. Copy here. Okay? So side of reactants will affect the real reaction of the reactant. They are in solid form. 它只影响固体的。the smaller the reacting reactant size, the larger the total exposed surface area. So therefore the real reaction will be higher. Okay. Now understand now my don't get look at me, being the cancer one, it can't be clear. So this is a small total surface area. 大的反应体大大块的 total surface area is less 它总共的表面比较少 Compared to the small side of the reactant The total surface area is more 你看这个表面我也有啊一二三四加起来就是你 不过你没有啊另外一个一二三四一二三四一二三四一二三四 So the smaller the side of the reactant the bigger the total surface area 它总共的表面的面积就会比较大 and more easier for the chemical reaction to take place 更容易给化学反应发生 Now, if you understand 已经明白了 We draw a graph here 我们在这边呢 要画一个 graph So in your note 这一句话在上面 graph 呢有一个小四方格在这边对不对 So we draw a graph here You can start now 你可以画了 那我把它放大 Graph 你的在这边我把它放大 What's the meaning of the graph? 这个 graph 它的意思是什么呢? At the beginning of the This is our first experiment 这就是我们的第一个实验 As the time progress 时间越来越长越来越久 And the product obtained become more and more 你拿到的product越来越多 Until the end it become constant 过后product没有了 这就是本来的实验 at the beginning of the experiment, first, first set of experiment that we using the normal side reactant. 当时我们用普通体积的反应体, 普通是大还是小呢? 不要管它大小, 叫普通. Now, I repeat the experiment with the small side of smaller cell reactant. 现在我重复实验, but using the smaller cell reactant, 我用比较小的反应体. And now what you need to do, 你必须做的东西呢, 只有一个, you add another line for me. 你加多一条线给我。蓝色的线. Add in this graph. 加在这个graph上面. When you using a smaller cell reactant, 当你用比较小的反应体的时候, How is a new graph? 你的新的graph到底是怎样的呢? So add another line using your pencil. 因为在班上啊,真正在画的时候, 十个画七个八个线错了。不知道为什么是它。一定要先画那一条线先。
对吧？反应体小了，你的波段、你的成绩怎样的加多一条线，加了没有？不敢，不敢，我看不起你哦。对，给我知道，不要给你补了了，不爽了了。OK， 来了来了，精彩了。So most of the students, they going to draw the line look like this. 他可能就画了一条线，他的线看起来是这样子的 ，OK? But this type of student actually is very cute, you know. 其实很很可爱。你看啊，当你的反应体的体积小的时候 ，the real reaction become higher. 你的反应的速度呢增加越来越快。Oh, why I know? Because the graph become steeper, 越来越斜。And now at the same time, the product can become more. 它的 product 呢也变得越来越多。哇，这个就是你可爱的地方，可爱 cute 的地方。为什么呢 ？For example, Milo, Milo, Milo. Now you having the Milo powder in your house, and you go to ban it. 你拿回家呢，拿你的 Milo 粉呢去搅它，搅到它碎碎更小一点。Finally, when you making the Milo, Milo. 当你泡 Milo 的时候，你会拿到更大杯的 Milo 吗？一杯变两杯可以吗？不可以，对不对？ So when the mineral powder becomes smaller, it can dissolve faster. 它可以溶得比较快，我知道。不过它可以变更变成更大杯吗？如果能，我就不用教书教到这样难了了，对不对 ？So the the real reaction will be higher. 化学反应的速度呢会增加加速了。And 它比较快起完化学反应。你看这边就起完化学反应。啊，它比较快 ，but at the end the final product will be still the same. 到最后它的 product 有没有增加到？ Not only not, 没有 So this is your graph. 你的新的 graph 就是这样子的，明白吗？不要假聪明，那画到这样高来，对不起啊。But remember, trust me. 在课室里面，如果真的叫你画，你第一次没有经验，你的是吓死人的。Next, now I prepare one simple experiment. 很简单的实验。To show that, 要证明给你看 ，side of reaction affect the real reaction. 反应体的体积会影响你的化学反应的速度。So how is the experiment? 太简单的实验，不要怕，太简单的。Look at me, 啊，看着我就可以解决了。那我们的实验在这边直接看，不太爱不太切，直接看罢了。Now I react the hydrochloric acid together with the calcium carbonate. 碳化钙，也就是我们的 calcium carbonate marble chip 啦。React together with the hydrochloric acid, you're going to produce a gas called carbon dioxide. Correct the gas with the downward displacement method, 也叫 water displacement method. So the gas collected will be it will be used to calculate the rate reaction. 你收集到的 gas 将会用来算化学反应的速度。Okay. At the beginning, I using the last marble chip. 我不用比较大块的。And I repeat the experiment with a small marble chip. 过后我变小块的，我用比较小块的给他们起化学反应。Okay. And how's the result at the end? 最后的成绩怎样呢？不知道。成绩出炉了。行。With the last marble chip, 如果我用 marble chip 的情况之下 ，Okay. After three hundred seconds, 在六分钟，哎，在五分钟过后 ，the total volume of gas collected is thirty eight. 我收到三十八。Small marble chip, the gas collected will be fifty. 啦，小粒的呢，却拿到五十，证明谁比较快？小粒的啦，五分钟五十，这个五分钟才三十八。And after this, using your data, you plot the graph. 你看 ，for the last marble chips, the graph actually is not so steep, 对不对？它没有这样斜，它比较横一点点。它比较慢呢、啊、，and small marble chip 小粒的呢，它会比较高，比较斜，是不是 ？So this is our result， 这就是我们的成绩。And with the result， we can make our calculation， and this is another example of calculation， and that's very simple， 简单到你怕的一个算出来的。Okay， so now we go back to our notes， 我们回去我们的 notes， 我们填我们的 notes 一下啦啊。Today was manipulated variable side of reactant 反应体的体积 responding variable the rate of reactions 化学反应的速度 what must be constant your acid the type of the acid the volume of the acid the concentration of the acid volume and the concentration of the acid or the mass of the marble chip 它的质量全部一模一样 hypothesis the smaller the side of the reactant The higher the rate of reaction. 通常我们用 higher， 我们没有用 faster 呢。你你去考 S B， 你用 faster 它要扣分呢。
So the, the rate of reaction increase if the size of the reactant smaller. 反应化学反应的速度增加，如果你的反应体的体积小的话呢，它的速度就会增加。这种就是我们的假设。Now you still owe me something. 你还是欠我一个东西。Calculation， 对不对？算差。So with your graph， 它的 graph 小到你怕。Or with the table， 用它的表格。You can make your calculation here. One, two, three, four， 四个算差。解决它一下，我等你。So in this experiment, actually, it's nothing. Nah, this experiment actually has no special thing, right? Small things are just added. Just added four times. Right? Yeah. The previous one is the same. Start now. Ah, so in this experiment, you have to solve the problem. 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 Product 除时间，对不对 ？So product 除时间 ，zero point one three cubic m per second 呢？这就是答案。Small number chip three hundred second fifty， 三百秒拿到五十 ，so three hundred second fifty。The average zero point one seven。So 大力的比较慢啊，平均零点一三；小力的比较快，零点一七，平均平均零点一七。嗯。Next, calculate. Calculate the real reaction at 120 seconds. 在一百二十秒的时候，大力跟小力的速度的差别在哪里呢 ？And again, I want to remind you. 再一次，我想提醒你啦。When you go to the real exams, if they ask about the instantaneous real reaction, 在一百二十秒的时候，它当时的速度是多少？ Okay. So you have to draw on your graph. 你必须在你的 graph 那边的话呢？那 small marble chip 在这个点呢 ，using a ruler， 用你的尺呢，你调它 ，left and right hand side equal 了，左右给它平均。Same as a last marble chip， 大力的也是在这个点120秒的时候调它，左右呢大概要平均。And after this calculate the rate reaction 呢，然后才算它们当时的速度，它的斜度 ，tangent 的斜度。就是你当时化学反应的速度。But today you notice the graph is small, 太小，我知道。然后读也是很难读。But some students can make it 啦。有些人能把它读出来，而且读得很好嘞。真的。So that's why. 嗯，那我给你啦。The real reaction for the last marble chip 大力的零点一四，小力的零点一六，证明小力的比较快。当时啦，在一百二十秒的时候，小力的大过那个大力的，嗯，快过那个大力的。OK， s e t up for this video， 搞定。We still having another question to do after this。So under your notes this page， 这一面，这个实验的下面，我必有 question 啊，抄一题问题，第一题 exercise 来的。OK， see you in the next video， 下个 video 再见。